Alright, what's up folks? This is Monarch Monkey in the house. Last night, me and my friend did a pretty good job at fixing a CPU. Which is pretty tough in the first time we done it. So, this is a CPU right here. Pretty important, pretty important part of the computer. This is the thermal paste on the back of it. That's usually a clear surface that says what kind it is. So you can see how those are uniform right there. Had a good picture for a second. But there's a couple areas that are damaged where the pins are not properly uniformed. This one's beyond repair. But mine was just two of them were messed up and he's got pins on them too like wires that stick out the top that go into the sockets if you get a good look it's not gonna happen alright so I thought I had to go buy a new CPU but I knew I could fix it what I did was take the CPU out underneath that fan there in the heat sink and then me and Josh worked on it. He helped straighten the little sockets and then I, because he got better eyesight than me and then I got the wires to split, uh, sit upright and then it just sat right in the socket. The reason I messed it up is because I try to force it in, and it's zero force insertion, so you don't <laughs> push these things in, so they just sit right in and clamp in, as long as you got it set up the right way, and you can tell by the grooves in the CPU itself, like that one, it would just have a black corner, so the way you would tell would be that triangle piece right there pointing towards and there'd be one on the motherboard telling you that's where it would line up at that's the way that one goes but mine is a little bit more high power so this computer is up and running after a couple weeks of sitting and being scared to try it and here's the system it's downloading right now a video game so that's all running pretty good um, that's a CPU, it's trash, but I am going to use it for this next project. And the next project is to change my CMOS battery. Because it is dying, it won't keep the right time on your computer. So I'm going to hook myself in. To the Matrix. Going to the Matrix. <laughs> so what we want to do is unlatch this somehow. And I guess that's how it does. And that is the CMOS battery. Which you can tell it's kind of burnt up. Pretty bad. You take a volt voltmeter to that and see if it was reading the right, which is you want about two. So here's the new one. Two or three volts. Shit, it's a Sony two. So we'll set this in here. Properly, like so. I can't even see it. Let me help you out, help myself out. Let's help each other out at the same time. There it goes. 
Oh, maybe not. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, shit, it's so big. So, the CMOS battery is in now. So, next, we're going to take the fan off this, the seat sink, and I'm going to show you the CPU for this one. And that's going to take a second, so. Je vois toi. Okay, so I still had thermal paste on this little motherfucker right here. And that's a good thing. Yeah, I'm sorry, I cuss. It's a habit. I even do it at school. In front of all the teachers, so. I'm sorry, guys. So, take something like this just to get this excess heat paste on there. It's just a little cardboard that I used off my cigarette pack. you don't want that stuff on you or on anything else on the motherboard for show. Sure. And what I'm doing, okay. I'm trying to spread it on there, but the heat sink's got a lot on it and I'm gonna hook it up to another just to show you the bottom. It's got a little heat sink on it, so so Stupid with smartphones. Intelligent with computers. Alright, so this is the latch to bring your little shit up here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Right here. I don't recommend you doing this at all. You don't ever want to take that thing out. But it's zero insertion, just like I said, so you see that, uh arrow right here that's the way you're gonna set it right back in there so I will pick it up and that's what the inside looks like and these pins on the bottom of the CPU have to fit right in there and I don't know the exact number so <coughs> This is what the CPU looks like. And ain't none of these pins bent. Even though you can't tell. So. What I'm gonna do is. Okay, and this is my friend's laptop right here. He's wanting me to fix it, but it's a piece of shit. I'm just using it as a light source. See, I hooked it in, got the power source, so I hooked my little flashlight into it. Hey, it works for something right now. But, uh, just a second. I gotta find this. Where's that other C ham and that other CPU? Thank you. align it with this other CPU because it still had gunk on the inside of it so I'm trying to get the adhesive off of it it's the messed up one this is the really nice one so I just want to rub them around try to get that heat am I ugly should be yeah, you try to get this stuff off here should be on the top layer shout out to West Borland dude fellow XG 
extraterrestrial. So, I don't know if you see what the fuck I'm doing, but I'm just spreading this shit. Do not leave it gunky. This is not the proper application, but I've already done this, so I, I don't have no thermal paste, so I would clean this shit off with alcohol and do this a different way, but this is all we got right now. The heat sink still got some on it, so it's good. Zero four sensation. Okay. So it goes right there with like that. So Josh can come out with this. Um, back it up somewhere. Yeah. I just focus on that slot down there. It should just fit in like a fuck. No, I'm not even going to continue with that, but hopefully that's it. It just clamps down in there. I hate the way that's so Everything was good, I guess. It fit in there pretty nice, so starting it up's the the real test of fucking up my best computer. So I'm gonna put this heat sink the right way on right there and upside down like this that yeah like that and then the fan and then I'm gonna hook her back up and I'll be right back. Alrighty then fellow folks and gentlets now I just gotta hook this power cord for the fan in. Pretty simple. As long as you're confident you don't break any pins. Which I'm never confident about that anyway, so... Yeah. Like a glove! Alright. So that's what I just plugged in. Right there. Okay. Everything's hooked up. Chira. New battery. Thermal paste looking a little bit better. Alright, so this <laughs> As you can clearly hear, but that's after I just did all that stuff in there. But it told me that I had problems with, when I turned it back on, that I had problems with dual screening. That a graphics card, blah, 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 whatever. I can't remember, <laughs> but I was already into it, so I had to go to the BIOS and fix something, but. So my computer is working. So there's a little information for you guys. Hopefully you like what you've seen. Now, piss off! <laughs>